Moving on now to some international news. Former Botswana President Ian Kama says he won't allow anyone to tarnish his image. Kama is still not on speaking terms with his successor, President Mokhoetsi Masisi. He's accused Masisi's government of waging an orchestrated plan to destroy him and some of his associates, including businesswoman Bridget Motsepa Khadebe. Kailihle Kumalo has more. Former Botswana President Ian Kama says he's going to court as he faces a number of allegations, including financing terrorism, something he vehemently denies. And Mr. President, are you in speaking terms with your successor? No. Mr. Masisi? No. Is he reaching out? Are you reaching out to him? No. These statements are just made, what we are seeing in our country now, blatantly like that, just to discredit you and try to bring down your reputation. So that's my answer, is that it's just, um, it's just a laughing matter. But it is very serious, and that's why we are going to um, take action of a serious nature against those making, making those allegations. What does Karma's future hold? Since he left the ruling BDP party, his attempt to unseat the party once governed failed dismally in the recent elections. Um, I'm going to set up a foundation uh, which will be a watchdog for democracy in Botswana. The former head of state says businesswoman Bridget Motsepe Khadebe is being targeted in Botswana simply because she remains his friend. Motsepe Khadebe requires a visa to visit the neighboring country. I take my hat off to her. She's a very strong uh, uh, person and she's, she's weathered the storm. It's also very childish. The government of Botswana has yet to respond to the former president's accusations. Kaili Kumalo, Johannesburg.